Hey guys, so this is the new DJI Power Dongle. So I found this on DJI's website. It had very little information as far as what it could do besides control your DJI Power device. So today we're going to open it up and see what it can do. All right, so let's get one of these pull tabs. So, pretty nice little compact unit. What else is in the box? Looks like, oh, you need to scan a QR code, download the app, and operating frequency in transmitter power 2.4 gigahertz. Bluetooth 5.0, and it says you need to connect to the SDC light port. So I think that's only the bottom on the DJI Power 1000 I have here. So let's try that out. I'll unplug my solar adapter, plug that in, and let's power it on. Thought like the status light or something would light up there. All right, so let's try to download the app. Go on my phone here. All right, hit get. Download Android APK. All right, we're finally signed in. So now I guess we'll add device. Permissions, of course. I think it's searching for it. I don't see like any light or anything on. But you know what? I think we need to update the firmware on the DJI power unit. Darn it. I'll be right back. All right, so to update the firmware on your DJI power, just Google DJI Assistant 2 Power Series. And on the DJI website, there's a EXE to download. Oh, and there's an ad, nice. It's 358 megabytes. And we're almost done. All right. So this does support Windows or Mac. All right, launch. It's amazing how many terms and conditions they want you to set up. All right, so let's turn on the DJI power. I believe you hold both buttons down. Yep, so it says load. And then we'll plug in a USB-C cable. Oh look, it looks like you have to give them DJI account information for device activation, firmware upgrade, data upload, and other services. Hmm. Do you actually have to log into this to make it work? That would be freaking annoying. Alright, so it turns out uh, you have to use this left USB-C plug, not the right. Because uh, that's the only one that works. Immediately shows on the screen DJI Power 1000. All right, we're currently on 16.010171, and we're going to upgrade to the latest, which is. Wait, that doesn't make sense. How are we on 16 right now? We're going to go to zero 01. Well, that's the uh, latest date stamp, November 7, 2024. So here we go. Upgrade, start update. Oh, sweet.
If only it charged that fast. Whoa. I'm guessing it's like flashing firmware to different modules inside the battery. I guess probably a firmware for the screen, firmware for the BMS, the inverter, etc. Wow. <laughs> so maybe this is six out of six. We're almost done. Upgrade fail. Oh no. Uh, okay. We're going to try to upgrade again because it said it failed. And according to DJI, if it fails, you need to plug in your charger. Because maybe it needs more power during the update. I don't know. All right, so apparently, if you get one of these things, be prepared for a little 10 to 15 minute side quest on the uh, firmware update. Because that was fun. So. Back where we were. Let's turn it on. Ooh, now I have a green light. Let's hit add device, Bluetooth pairing. Oh, we found it. Pair. Looks like we're going to select our Wi Fi network. Connect to internet, okay. <clears throat> All right, next. You can name it, I'm just gonna leave it as DJI Power 1000. And apparently we're connected. So input and output. We'll see of total wattage, AC, SDC, SDC light. Which, how could you have power from SDC light if we're using the plug that's in right now? Then your outputs. So can you, can you toggle anything? Oh, that turns the inverter on. Cool. What else can we do? Device info, name, model, serial number, capacity, dongle version, firmware version. Firmware update, up to date. Cool, so maybe you can update the firmware with the dongle instead of using the uh, USB-C cable. Oh, cool, you can set a discharge limit or a recharge limit. That's actually really useful. So if you use this as a UPS, you're gonna wanna reduce your recharge limit to say 80 to 70% range. That'll uh, extend the lifetime of your battery. That's pretty cool. General settings. Screen timeout. Cool. So for your screen on the front, you can set your timeout. You can set it to never even if you want it to always see it. Device timeout. So if there's no load, then the whole unit will turn off. AC timeout. That's for your inverter. If there's a, no power on the inverter, it will turn off. Change your temperature units. Pretty cool. I was expecting maybe you could turn the unit off, but I understand why they wouldn't do that. Because if you can turn it off, that implies you, need, you can turn it on, but you can't actually turn it on if it's off because it's not connected. wonder if this works over the internet. Hang on. Let me disconnect my Wi-Fi on the phone. Switch to 5G LTE. Guys, this is pretty cool. So I have Wi-Fi off, so I'm on my cell connection. And it actually is a cloud-based app. It's 
that would mean if you're out of the house, you can still look at your power. What's going on here? That's pretty cool. And switch your inverter on and off if you need to. Let's plug it into an AC outlet and watch it charge over the app. So here we are charging 1200 watts in. If we look on our app, input is matching. Pretty cool. As a quick test, let's just plug in my phone here. We should see that pop up on the output screen. Yeah, there we go. The phone's charging at 21 watts. And again, this is all over a cell connection. Sweet. All right, so to recap, uh, it's pretty cool. I wish I didn't use one of my SDC ports. And this is the SDC light, but I liked having two, just in case I want to plug something else in while I'm like solar charging. So on the side, I have the solar adapter. But not too bad. I really wish it was built in, though. I bet their Generation 2 unit will have it built in. But as you saw over the app, you can uh, control it remotely, as long as you have Wi-Fi connected to the dongle. Um, and then you have internet access on your device. You can set upper and lower charge limits. Uh, discharge limit, and turn the inverter on and off, all the while monitoring your inputs and outputs. Pretty cool. If you guys are interested in getting the DJI dongle, I have it and the DJI power links in the description.